Looking back over the past 50 years, West Kanyuka has been transforming. So many lives have been molded, have been shaped. So many persons are better off because of what West Kanyuka Camp has afforded over the umpteen years. Looking back, we take a scoop from those who have benefited tremendously. Those persons whose lives have been transformed, enriched. Let's hear from them. Ansel Brown, Adeline Smith, White Girl. They have their stories. Let's hear what they say, what camp used to be like. Camp was something very memorable. It's because camp was really camp. Camp was camp. Well, in the early days of camp, one of the things I used to like about it is the, the relationships that people build at camp, the friendships. I can still remember our line calls and after line calls, the units would meet right out in the open air and we would have prayer session. And even now, I still look forward to having some of that even in our present time. Healthy fun, healthy social activities, and not to mention the uplifting spiritual uh, activities as well. They meet a lot of new, new persons from different parts of the county of Cornwall in those earlier days when Trelawney was part of West Jamaica Conference. So it was always nice to see young people coming together, sharing with each other. Any type of sleeping was done in tents and each unit had its own tent. The unit controlled, governed, led by the councillor. Then of course you have the captain and so on. Because of the fact that it was out there and there was nothing ready-made. We had to do a lot of improvising. So we learned to organize. It helped me to be more spiritual. It helped me to be more organized. Even now I still practice some of the things that we, we, we were taught at camp. You come away with a friend. Um, the social activities always enlightening. You learn new games at camp. You learn new social activities. So you benefited from that and of course, the lasting friendships that you have. You really learn to organize things, to make use of what you have. And even when camp was over, we were still organizing things. We used to do craft at camp and you come away with a craft from camp. You also live with an honor because those were some of the things that you did. And you never forget your morning devotions in spiritual assemblies because there of course you benefited um, spiritually. These things really stand out for us, you know, and that is one of the things that probably kept us going back to camp because even now I still go to camp. The oneness that existed, nobody was inferior or felt inferior or superior to anybody. There was just that kind of a oneness there. You learn something new at camp. AY programs, Sabbath school programs, there were many singing groups and so on. You participated, you worked with other persons and so on. But you don't find many people who gravitate towards the plumbing, but I always believe that it was useful because even women, when they do it, the girls, when they do it, they go home and they can fix their pipes. Yeah. Many of the persons that I still am in touch with are per persons who we establish the friendships at camp. Sewing. People used to make skirts. So when you leave camp, you could live with a skirt or the makings of it. Most of it would be done. I think if people go with, young people go with an open mind, go, I want to learn. Because there are so many th things that one can learn. There are the skills, there are the spiritual upliftment, the social gatherings, you know, so if they go with an open mind that these are things I want to benefit from camp, there are so many things that they can benefit from. So I think one of the things that we um, hope that we would have achieved at camp is teaching the young people a skill that they can go and use maybe as a vocation. You never can tell.
even now at camp, people are able to worship, participate in whatever form they can, whatever they can offer, be it singing, be it speaking, be it acting, and so on. Camp can still benefit young people. And of course, we hold before the young people what we stand for as a church. You heard for yourself their experience. You need to come and have your experience. We are so delighted to have you this year, 2018, West Kanyuka at Camp Braham at Treasure Beach. You got to be there. The vibes is right. The summer is just right. And we want you to come and to be a beneficiary of God's goodness, the transformation. We invite you to get your forms, fill your forms out your youth directors at your churches, AY leaders, and if by chance they do not have sufficient forms, then call at 952-2727 at West Jamaica Conference, or you can visit the website. You cannot miss the experience for West Kanyuka 2018 at Camp Brown in Treasure Beach.